What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jocelyn, if you didn't know. And today I'm going to be doing a Lewis and Clark College Academics video, I guess. Over the summer I got a few requests to do videos on the academic side of Lewis and Clark College. So I guess I'll just get into it. Nobody left like very specific requests. So I'm just going to kind of go over like my perspective. These are literally just my own experiences and my opinions, so if you disagree that's totally cool. Just leave a comment so you can help somebody else learn from your experience. But feel free, like if this doesn't answer all your questions or this isn't exactly what you were looking for, leave me some comments and I can totally, I can do like a Q&A if I get enough questions or I could just go more into depth on a certain topic if you're interested in it. Also, I know this is not the best setup, but I'm still trying to figure out, we'll just roll with it. Also, subscribe. If you're a Lewis and Clark College student or you think you're going to apply this year, subscribe. I'll, I have lots of Lewis and Clark videos or just college in general, especially liberal arts college niche type of videos. I had to close the window because it's kind of loud outside and now it's really hot in my room. So, to begin with, I am a sophomore at LC and I am in the process of declaring my major and minor. Um, I'm a biology major, I'm a chem minor, so I'm in the STEM studies. So that's my perspective of academics. It's gonna be from a STEM point of view, just putting it out there. So I think the academics here are really good. I know people can come in and be afraid because I think Lewis and Clark makes classes sound more difficult than they are. Not that it's not challenging, they're totally challenging, but it's like if you take AP classes in high school, you're gonna be fine. There's a class you take first and second semester, two separate classes with the same type of class, and it's basically a lit class. What I'm saying here didn't really make sense, but what I meant is they might change the type of core class. My first semester core class was mostly discussion based. We just would read books and come into class and discuss, and it was an interesting take on a lit class. Um, and then second semester, you do like a research based lit class. So you, it's much more specific than the first semester one. First semester, almost all of the classes that you can take for your core class are comparable, but second semester of your first year, they're very different. They're very focused on like a certain topic. And then you go really into depth on that and you do a research project on it. So that's that. And it kind of just sets you up for all other literature based things you have to do while you're here. And I think our intro classes are really good. Our professors are amazing. I mean, obviously it's, you're not always going to get a professor you love or that you think is a good professor, but I mean, your chances of getting a good professor are pretty high. Going into office hours in college, like when you come in, it can seem really intimidating, but our professors make it really easy. And it's like, you just go in and you'll talk about like the academics for a little bit, but then they'll just be like, so how are you? And it's like, you can genuinely tell that your professors care about you. And that is something that I don't think you get at a larger school. And I'm not sure you get at all liberal arts colleges either. I don't know like how they all compare because obviously I only go to one. So that's my take on that. Like when you get into smaller classes, there's this really cool relationship that you can form between your professors. And like I've spoken on this before, but my Spanish professor who I had last semester and I have this semester, um, we go over to her house and make dinner and it's just, it's really fun. And I know some professors will like open their house up for Thanksgiving if you can't go home. And so it's just really cool. I don't know, we have really good um, opportunities for undergraduate research. It's definitely, I won't say that it's as easy as people make it sound to get involved, but if you have the drive to do research and to like seek those opportunities, they're definitely there. You just have to like try for them, which I guess shouldn't be a surprise. You should probably have to try for, to get into research programs. 
Some people will compare Elsie to Reed, which is like our like stepsister. <laughs> Reed is the stepsister of Elsie. Reed is a lot more competitive to get into, which is also reflective of their academic strain. I just, you, you hear people talk about it and it's reflected also in the way their students are when they're not doing their academics everything is a lot more laid back here and i really appreciate that i think it it makes our social life a lot more relaxed so if you're hearing things about reed and how like crazy it is and how lewis and clark is similar i would say take it with a grain of salt because they're similar in the way that they are run just in general that was like a very blanket statement um but like the fact that they're small liberal arts colleges in cute like neighborhood areas in Portland <laughs> so I, that's basically it back where I was I might do like an academic tour and show you guys like some classrooms and things if that's something you'd be interested in I don't think we're known for like a particular major like some schools are um but I know IA, which is International Affairs, is really popular here, and we have a lot of bio and STEM majors as well. Um, I know all of our departments are pretty well balanced, and sometimes the, the way that they show the general ed requirements along with your major is kind of intimidating. It seems like, it seems like maybe it's not very easy to finish everything on time, but it's actually really not bad like our breadth courses are are not like imposing really at all um and if you're passionate about your academics this is a great environment it's challenging enough but not so challenging that you lose hope in your academics and it also gives you enough leeway to still have a social life so i think that's really important but honestly, I kind of want to wrap this up because I have a lot of homework to do today. So just give me some feedback. Let me know what you want, what you want to know about. Uh, if it's just a few, I'll just answer in the comments. And if not, I'll make another video on it. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing great. If you're applying this season, you can do it. It's a lot. I know it's hard, but you got this. So I hope you guys have a great week. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, like this video, give me a comment, and I'll see you next time.